Hello, my name is Laura. If you are new here and I share homemaking and motherhood videos here on YouTube and I am currently about 21 weeks pregnant with baby number two. And so as you can imagine, we have been discussing baby names and we do not yet know if this baby is a boy or a girl. We actually will find out in a couple days. I had the anatomy scan this morning and we got our pictures of baby, which is so special. And I'm so excited to find out the gender. I will be sharing that video here on YouTube too. So stay tuned for that. But I thought it would be fun to just share some of our favorite baby names, names that we might use for this baby or for future babies. I love talking about baby names and I have, I think I've had a list of names I've liked since I was 12 or 13. It's just changed so much over the years. And then once like getting married and having um, my husband Silas and I, obviously we have to agree on the names. And I feel like our styles have kind of melded because they were really different when we got married. And then now they've sort of morphed into at least more similar. So I would say for the baby names that I like, I like timeless, not necessarily classic, but but names that, that you've heard before that are somewhat familiar with sometimes more unique twists to them. I love nature inspired names. Something else that I consider when it comes to baby names, which might sound so silly, is actually the letters in a name. The way that they sound, the way that they look written out to me. Some different letters sound more masculine or feminine. You'll understand more once I start describing the names a bit. But I would love to know how you choose baby names. Are you really drawn to the, the meaning behind names? Do you just choose names that you just like the sound of? Do you choose names that are named after someone special? Let me know in the comments as you're watching this video. I think for myself and for my husband too, we really choose names that we like the sound of, that we like the feel of. We don't pay too, too much attention to the meaning. I might more so than he does. I definitely look up the meanings to make sure it's not something that I don't want to name my baby but i don't necessarily choose names based on the meanings if that makes sense so for today i'm going to share my top baby girl names and baby boy names that i love i believe i have 12 or 13 of each so we'll go ahead and get started with the girls first on my girl name list is lucy i love the sound of this name actually a lot of the names that Silas and I like end with the E sound. Our son, Danny, is Danny. It's just Danny, it's not short for Daniel. And we tend to also like nicknames as first names. Lucy, I guess Lucy is a nickname because it could be short for Lucille. But I love the spelling IE at the end as opposed to Y just because it's a little bit different. I also had a dog growing up named Lucy, so <laughs> maybe like making it a little bit different appeals to me for that reason too. Willow I think is so pretty and feminine, especially with the W sound. To me, that just sounds like starting with the W, ending with a W, and the L sound in there sounds very feminine, very sweet, obviously nature inspired, and I love willow trees as well. Ava, I think actually Silas thought of this one. I think it's very pretty. The only thing, I don't think I would choose this name only because it's only three letters. I tend to like names that are a little bit longer, but it is two syllables, so I appreciate that and I think it's a really pretty name. Next is Charlotte. I have loved the name Charlotte probably since I was like 13 or 14. I especially love the nickname Lottie. The name Charlotte is so timeless and classic, but I think adding Lottie as a nickname makes it a little bit, just a little bit more different, a little bit unique. And I think that is just so cute for a little girl. I don't know if I can picture Lottie so much for someone older. That's something I think about too is, is the name multi-seasonal. <laughs> Does it fit for different seasons of life? I think Lottie is so cute. Evelyn. Evelyn was on our top name list with Danny. If he was a girl, I think it's so pretty. I love girl names that start with E, especially that short E sound, that E sound. I think that sounds so feminine. And I also love that the name Evelyn is more vintage. It was, I believe, more popular. I don't know when, but it's like an older style name. It seems to be gaining popularity now, 
which is i think for silas and i a reason that we probably wouldn't choose it just because it does seem to be kind of coming back i think we lean more towards names that are familiar but not popular if that makes sense another name this is kind of similar to evelyn in my mind is elsie which is technically short for Elizabeth, but it would just be Elsie. I think that is so cute. It is so pretty. I can definitely picture that for a little girl, for a teenager, for a grown woman, for an elderly lady. Elsie might be my top of the ones that I'm sharing. Next is the name Isla. I don't know of many girl names that start with I. I don't know if there just aren't that many or maybe there's just not many that I gravitate towards. Isla, I think, is so very pretty, and I love having the vowel sound of the I with the L combination. I think any name with an L, maybe that's because my name starts with L, but to me, the letter L is very feminine sounding. It is light, it is gentle, it just rolls off your tongue, and so to me, the name Isla is just very pretty, very serene, a little bit nature sounding, like picturing an island. I think that's where the name comes from, I assume. Josie is so cute. I love the name Josie. Could be short for Josephine, but I think I would just do Josie. Again, I just love the nicknames that are the names. They aren't short forms, they're just the name that you have. Josie, I think is really cute. Hazel is a very pretty name. I love the name Hazel. It is another vintage sounding name to me. I believe it was more popular like decades ago, but it's coming back a bit. It seems to be gaining some momentum. I think it is very pretty, but I don't think if this baby was a girl, I don't think we would use the name Hazel because to me, Hazel is hazelnut. You think brown. I picture a brown eyed little girl being named Hazel. And for this baby, we know we'll have blue eyes because Silas and I both have blue eyes. So I don't think we would use it for that reason, but I think it's very, very sweet. Another one is Margot. This is kind of similar to me with, with Hazel. It sort of fits in the same category, a bit vintage, um, but just very cute. Love the sound of Margot. Bonnie. I love the name Bonnie. <laughs> I think that's just such a cute name. The only thing is, I don't know if I can picture, I guess I can picture like a teenager being named Bonnie. I guess I, guess I can picture it. I, maybe I just don't know any Bonnies but I think it's a really cute name. And Bonnie is one that Silas and I both really liked. I think he thought of this one too. We definitely might use that for this baby. Maybe not for this baby, but later on down the road, we'll see. I don't know, we both really like it. Nora is so pretty, vintage, classic. However, it sounds too close to Laura. Nora, Laura, that would just get too confusing but I love the look of it. I love the sound of it. But again, I love that it has that vintage feel. Last but not least is Georgia. I believe Georgia was also on our name list for Danny if he was a girl. I think it was Evelyn, Elsie, Isla, and Georgia. I'm pretty sure those were the names that we were actually considering if he was a girl. Georgia, I think is so cute. I don't know of many G names for girls, but I think Georgia is very Southern, obviously because of the state of Georgia, but it just has that sort of Southern vibe, which I also think is a little twist of our theme of names. We tend to like Southern names that are a bit subtly Southern, <laughs> I suppose that also feel a bit more familiar. I don't know, I suppose I would describe my name taste as timeless, Southern charm, and maybe traditional or classic, maybe vintage, a little bit vintage, at least for the girls. There's definitely a number of vintage names in that list. Okay, I would love to know of these 13 names that I shared, comment right now. I would love to know what your favorite is or your top one or two, if you liked any of them, of course. Just for curiosity's sake, I would love to hear which ones you actually like because we are actually trying to name this baby, so <laughs> opinions are welcome. All right, moving on to boy names. Boy names are so much harder for me to think of than girl names. They're harder for me even to commit to. I don't know if there are 
more girl names there just seems to be more options i can think of so many just like that but boy names are a lot harder for me but i did i have come up with 12 that i like a lot of these silas and i both like they're not all contenders i don't think some of them definitely are but i think a lot of them we wouldn't actually use maybe for middle names but again i think for boy names i like a bit more southern a southern twist strong sounding names i want them to be masculine sounding which obviously is not objective <laughs> like that's going to be different for everybody but in my opinion i want them to sound strong so number one is liam this is a very strong sounding name for me and probably has been my top name for years was definitely when we were expecting danny i loved the name liam silas just wasn't as sold on it as me <laughs> which is okay um number two is finn i think finn is a very sweet name i do wish it was longer i wish it was two syllables which is funny because i feel like a lot of these boy names are one syllable but i actually prefer two syllables but finn i think i think of huckleberry finn which is classic to me it's boyhood it's like adventure which i just think is so fun for a boy number three is titus I like the name Titus because it is a Bible name, but it's not as popular. I don't know many Tituses. And to me, Titus has a similar feel as Silas. They sound similar. Silas is my husband. I love the name Silas. I think that's such a great name. I'm so glad that he is named Silas because I think it's just such a great name. It's not as common. Um, actually, I think it is becoming more popular now, but when he was born i don't think it was very popular but it's a bible name and titus is also a bible name it's not as popular and it has that sort it has the same feeling to me as silas it's strong sounding theo is so cute i love the name theo those are my top two i believe with danny was liam and theo and obviously danny but i loved i loved those names uh theo but we have friends with a theo so we wouldn't use that number five is wilder I really like the name Wilder. I love that it reminds me of Laura Ingalls Wilder. I like that it's a last name. I like the D sound. I think packs a punch. It sounds masculine. Any name with a D sounds, not any name, but like if a boy name has a D in it, the letter D, I think that just sounds like strong that's a strong sound to me <laughs> that sounds crazy but i really i really do like wilder i don't know if we would use it i think we've kind of said we wouldn't because it does seem to be maybe a little bit trendy maybe we would for a middle name but i don't know that we would use it for a first name rider is similar that it's a similar feel to me we might use it as a middle name maybe for a first name I don't know if we would actually use it, but I love the sound of it. I love R names for boys, especially if it starts with an R and then has a D later on. I think the R and the D combo is just so strong sounding. Number seven is Bo. I think Bo is very sweet, very Southern sounding. We did consider Bo as a middle name with Danny. Um, Danny Bo, we were considering. We went with Danny Rhett which is also a bit of a southern twist, which I love. Number eight is Reed. Same thing, starts with an R, has a D later on in the name. And again, that sounds so masculine and strong to me. Reed, I suppose it does. Oh, I like that it's a last name. I really, I really like last names for boys. And I like that it is sort of nature sounding, like a Reed. Obviously, it's spelled differently, but it has thoughts of nature or notes of nature in it. Next is Rudy, same thing, the R with the D. If you have other boy names that start with R and then have a D later on, <laughs> let me know because those are truly my favorite. Rudy, um, I believe is more, I don't know if it's German or European. I'm not sure where it comes from, but to me it seems German. I don't know, was there a Rudy in the Sound of Music? No, I don't think so. Oh, you know what, it's in... Um, Oh, what's that book? It's in The Book Thief. If you've ever read The Book Thief or watched the movie, Rudy is the little boy in that in that book. Such a good book, by the way. 
Um, so maybe that's why it seems German to me because he was German. <laughs> I really like the name Rudy, a bit more vintagey. Um, next is Jace. I think Jace is very cool. Kind of maybe it's short for Jason. I don't know, but sounds very cool to me. And again, it's only one syllable, which isn't my favorite, but I do like J names for boys. Number 11 is Brooks. We were, were really considering this when we found out about this baby. Brooks, I love the name Brooks. It sounds Southern, but it doesn't go very well with our last name. So I don't think we would use it for that reason. Probably not as a first or middle name. Also, one of my very good friends has a son with this name. Last but not least is the name Jasper. I really like the name Jasper. I think it is nature sounding because there's a Jasper Lake here in Canada. And I like the J, I like J names for boys. I think sounds strong as well. And Jasper, it's familiar, but it's unique, I think. I don't know any Jaspers. And I think just sounds very cool. Sounds like a cool guy name. <laughs> Well, that concludes my list. This was so fun to share. I hope that if you're expecting, maybe this helped to give you some ideas. I would love to also hear your favorite boy name of the ones I shared. If you even liked any of them, let me know your top girl name, top boy name of all the names that I shared. I would just love to know that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I share new videos here every week, every Wednesday on motherhood and homemaking simple living and so I would love for you to join the journey. Thanks so much for watching and taking part a little bit in our journey with baby number two. I'm excited to share our gender reveal soon. Some more pregnancy videos probably. Let me know if there are any that you would like to see. I always am happy to take suggestions and that helps as I'm planning out future videos as well. Thanks again for being here and I will see you in my